While Apple's big spring forward event came and went, and like everyone expected, the Apple Watch was the big highlight of the show. CEO Tim Cook and company waxed poetic about how we can use the Apple Watch, finally letting us in on the big secret how in the world the watch can fit into our daily lives. But the big reveal, the one we've all been waiting for, was the final pricing for the device. The Aluminum Sport starts at $349 for the smaller size, at 50 bucks for the larger model. The stainless steel Apple Watch starts at $549 and can cost up to $1,099. And then there was the 18 karat gold Apple Watch Edition, which will run you at the very least $10,000. The event also answered the last big lingering question about Apple Watch, battery life. All models of the device will have what Apple calls all-day battery life, which apparently translates to 18 hours. Pre-orders for the Apple Watch start April 10th, and the device will go on sale the 24th. The next big thing was Apple's all-new MacBook. It's Apple's thinnest version yet, and weighs just two pounds. The device sports an upgraded and redesigned keyboard and trackpad and ships in three familiar colors. Think iPhone. Apple's new MacBook starts at $1,299 and goes on sale April 10th. Last but not least, Apple surprised us all with a bit of news that admittedly started out kind of dull, but ended up being one of the most exciting announcements. The company went into great detail about ResearchKit, an open source framework that helps connect volunteers to research studies. Apple featured several apps using ResearchKit to track health data. And although we would have loved to get a look at the rumored iPad Pro the company is supposedly working on, we were happy to settle for a $14.99 a month HBO subscription on a newly discounted $69 Apple TV. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toon.